Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan, and today I'm going to show you guys or do the complete walkthrough of the Halloween event for Destiny 2 with Eva Levante. So I'm going to go through the whole thing, and as I complete the quest steps, I'm going to let you guys know like little tips and tricks and just things along the way. And I'm also just going to show me going through it. Uh, there will be cuts, but it'll be a lot of a lot of like me raw figuring out like what to do so that it's an actual step-by-step -step guide instead of just all cut together in like a, a manner that doesn't make it very apparent of how to actually do everything so let me jump in here so we glow it into the tower we talk to eva we're gonna pick up the quest called a festival of masks so we go ahead and pick this up we will choose a mask here of an energy type. For me personally, it doesn't really matter. One thing I will say is I'm not going to read the dialogue for this these types of quests. Um, okay, so we've completed our first quest step there. Uh, it looks like we can right away purchase bounties. So we're going to go ahead and purchase every single bounty. If there are any bounties that have weird quest steps or uh, uh, steps that require a certain thing that maybe you want to get done really quickly, I will make videos on those. But if you have any questions about any of the bounties, definitely leave them in the comments down below. But let's open up our quest tab here and see what we want to do for the quest. So let's go ahead and visit Spider on the Tangled Shore. So once you land on the Tangled Shore here in Thieves Landing, you can then just simply click on this here and add a waypoint. And then once you do that, you're simply going to run towards that, and I'll see you guys when I get to Spider. Alright, so we've just reached Spider here. So let's continue the quest step. And, uh, alright, let's read what it says. Complete a strike, gambit match, or crucible match while wearing a mask to find a cipher decoder. Alright, let's go ahead and find a cipher decoder. And I'll meet you guys after we've completed one of these matches. Okay, so we have just completed a match of the crucible here. It progressed our quest step. So now we have to use the cipher decoder on a cache in the haunted forest. Now, if you want to find out where the cipher decoder is or where it goes... Once you receive one, it will then go to your inventory, and it says that these are single-use algorithmic code breakers capable of hacking electronic locks on encrypted caches at the end of the haunted forest. A limited number may be carried at one time. So the only place you can use this is the haunted forest, so let's head over there and see what happens next. To launch the haunted forest, you can either go to the tower, and once you're at the tower, you'll be able to start it right beside Eva Levante here, or you can simply go to the tower map and click on this blue crown here, which says Haunted Forest. So I'm going to click on this, launch in, and I will see you guys at the end while I'm opening the chat. Okay, so we have completed the Haunted Forest here. Now we have to run over this portion and not die. And uh, we should be able to come and open the loot chests at the end here. So let's go ahead and see. So we can use... A cipher to open each one of these so it looks like you can save up five of these ciphers and then come and open up these chests at the end here so I'm gonna go ahead and open the two that I have and you'll see here that it requires a cipher decoder so I can't open these other three so that's pretty interesting so let's look go ahead and look at the quest here and see what it's asking us to do next Talk to Eva and let her know what you find in the haunted forest. All right, let's head back to the tower and talk to Eva and uh, see if that's the end of the quest. All right, so we are back at the tower here. Let's talk to Eva. And she's going to reward us with a chocolate strange coin. And I believe that is the end of the quest there. So we can go ahead and buy one of these masks with our ch chocolate strange coins. But let's go back into our inventory and just double check our quest. Yeah, so the quest is entirely completed. Okay, so since that is the quest for the Festival of the Lost for 2020, the Halloween event in Destiny 2, uh, if we go ahead and look at the Triumphs here, and I can actually show you guys how to get there. So you would go to Seasonal. In Seasonal, you would then go ahead and go to Events. In Events, you then go down to Festival of the Lost. And in Festival of the Lost, we can see Cash Grab, Caches Galore, and Cash Cow. These three um, triumphs are required. You have to complete them by just opening caches with ciphers. 
So basically what you would do is you would play Crucible or you would play Gambits or Strikes. And uh, upon completing those, you will receive these cash keys. You then ha just have to make it to the end of the forest. You don't have to make it to a certain level. You just have to make it there. Once you make it there, then you just trade in these keys. And if you trade in uh, the maximum amount, which is 45, you can keep trading in keys after that. But once you complete that, 15, 25, and 45, then you will be able to acquire the Restless Ghost Shell, the Tomb Rider, and the Warp Speed. So you'll be able to acquire all three of these exotic uh, items here. So anyways, guys, that was the quest guide for uh, the Lost Festival of the Lost. So I hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Run to bed.